In Idaho, it's safe to say, for the most part, and at least for Republicans, political offices are won in the primary, which is why for the next 11 months, Idaho's political focus will be about the 2022 primary races. That includes the governor's race, which now features Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan. Governor Brad Little has not yet officially filed paperwork to run again for governor, but he is expected to do so, and he has several months to do that. So does a heavily contested GOP primary put the Republican Party in a delicate situation, maybe highlighting an expanding divide within the party? Joe Paris spoke with Idaho GOP Chairman Tom Luna for insight on the upcoming nearly year long race, primary race that is, and how the party will deal with what is expected to be a heated campaign. The field for the May 2022 primary election is taking shape. Already, the race for Idaho governor has a unique complexion. Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan has filed to run in the Republican primary, and current Governor Brad Little is also expected to run in the GOP race. McGeehan has not been shy about her criticism of Governor Little, creating questions about what the race could look like. One thing we know is that the party will unite after the primary, and the winner of that primary will go on and, and win the, uh, the general election. Idaho GOP Chairman Tom Luna says contested GOP primaries are not a surprise. Politics over the last 18 months has encouraged more and more people to consider a run for office in response to recent political decisions they disagree with. We're going to see the same thing for Lieutenant Governor, for Secretary of State, for Superintendent of Public Instruction. So the Republican primaries can be very dynamic and the voters are going to have uh, choices to make. There are already questions about Republican infighting and how the GOP will handle what is expected to be a very competitive GOP primary election. Luna feels the party is unified at its core and that constructive conversations promote different ideas that ultimately voters will decide on what's best. We're a very diverse party and uh, we've got a big tent and we're very vocal and passionate about our politics. Uh, and, and I think the result of that is voters end up with uh, options. It's not people that are anointed or appointed or hand selected, right? So everybody has access to the ballot, and especially in the Republican Party. And so you'll, you'll see these kinds of, uh, of differences of opinion. Passionate differences of opinion, say, between Governor Little and Lieutenant Governor McGeehan are not new to the Republican Party. Luna points the GOP primary for governor four years ago. There was a heated contest between Brad Little, Tommy Alquist, and Raul Labrador. Luna says he expects a similar race. That's why we have a primary, right? It is so that the, 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 those differences that we have, uh, they're vetted. And then the people decide with their vote. And, and then after we've chosen a candidate, it's that candidate and the platform that they ran on that the majority of the voters supported that's the candidate that then we put our full weight and support behind. Luna says he has confidence in the GOP being a cohesive unit following the primary season. Here's why. Somebody that agrees with me 80% of the time is my ally. And, 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 and so we do have differences, but we know who our allies are and we know that the real threat is not our fellow Republican. So after we get through this primary, you will see a very aggressive campaigns for every winner in the Republican primary. As noted, Lieutenant Governor McGeehan declared for the governor's race essentially a year before the primary. Questions have been asked about how a full year of campaigning for different candidates will impact GOP circles in Idaho. Luna admits it is set to be a longer cycle than usual, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It is going to make the primary season a bit longer. Uh, but I, again, I think that's just more transparency. It's an opportunity for more people to learn about these candidates and, and more people the opportunity to get involved and, 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 and have, a, have an impact. I asked Chairman Luna if there are concerns that the drama of the Republican primary for governor will be heightened by media or social media to a point where there is a significant divide in the party. Luna says outsiders have tried to drive a wedge into the Republican Party before unsuccessfully, and at the end of the day, he truly believes the party will remain united. I'm confident that, uh, that, that we'll continue to, to be united in our common principles and goals, and that is to amplify the conservative principles and values that are the Republican Party. All right, Joe, so this dynamic where a lieutenant governor is trying to unseat a sitting, a sitting lieutenant governor trying to unseat a sitting governor, is this unique to Idaho? 
you know, in a sense that this specific situation in this year, it is unique. Uh, but when talking with Chairman Luna earlier, Brian, he told me that he speaks with GOP leaders all across the United States and that they are seeing very heated primaries, very competitive primaries for early next year. So Idaho is not unique in that sense, and it's also not unique to a heavily Republican state. Heavily Democrat states are seeing a similar thing. Of course, we are well outside, or, well, I guess about a year from that primary election, so there is still plenty of time for other candidates to file. Brian, so far we've got a handful, about four or five on the Republican side, as well as an unaffiliated voter, or an unaffiliated candidate, I should say. Um, something to uh, remember, Brian, is that in Idaho, the Republicans do have a, closed, a closed primary. So if you do want to vote in that a year from now, make sure you're registered. All right, that's good to know. Thank you very much, Joe. And it's not just the state level. This is also, as you can see, pretty evident on the national level. Idaho Congressman.